All right, DBA review packet number 16 through 20. I'm going to zoom in on number 16 here because it's asking us these triangles are congruent why or how. Um, I see a bow tie. Do you remember when we have bow tie angles? I want you to mark them equal, so put the little swoops in there. And now if you just look at one of these triangles, you can see uh, we have side angle side and the angle does happen to be in between the two sides that are marked with the tick mark the angle is right here connecting them so this would be s a s same thing for the other triangle and so for that reason we have s a s and remember your choices are up here um, if you ever see a bow tie angle on your diagram i want you to mark it and just like number 15, if you ever see a side that is being shared or touching between two triangles, I want you to mark it. This one already has one tick mark and two tick marks, so I'm going to put a three there. But it's sharing the same side, so you're allowed to mark those two things. Number 17, we have XY, which is this right here, bisecting, which means cutting in half, angle AXM. Where the heck is AXM? Trace it with your finger. A X M. That angle is being cut in half, which means I have two equal angles. Here's one, and here's one. Um, I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I have Y X, which is this, bisecting A Y M. Where's A Y M? Let's trace it with our finger. A Y M. Okay, so this angle right here is being bisected also. So I'm going to double swoop that. Okay. So I have those two angles that are congruent. I have angle, angle so far. And it's asking me if I know if these two triangles are congruent. Well, remember when they share a side, we're supposed to mark it. So I'm going to put a little tick mark there. Or you can put two tick marks or three tick marks, however many you want. But now let's look at one of these triangles. Now I believe it looks like we have an angle, a side, and another angle. We have angle, side, angle. Here's an A, here's an S, here's an A. Angle, side, angle. So that is why I have A, S, A for this one. Remember, anytime they're sharing a side, mark it. Put a tick mark on it, just like we did here, okay? Number 18, um, wow, this one is got a lot going on. I am going to, here's how I want to attack this one. I'm going to trace this triangle because they're kind of drawn on top of each other. This one is a little bit funky. I'm going to draw this blue one down here. This is going to be amazing. And I'm going to label it A, B, what was this up here? C, okay. I just took this triangle and traced it and moved it down here, okay. I'm going to do the same thing with this other triangle, they're just moved on top of each other, which is weird. I'm going to separate them out. This one goes down here next to it. And those angles, this one is still A, this one is E, and this one is D, okay? Maybe I will move them over here so I have a little bit more room to work with. Still not great, and move it down here. I'm trying to line these up so they look like they're right next to each other. Okay, great. Let me translate those markings too. I have these like blue tick marks right here. Those go here and here, so that's great. Um, and then here's something that's kind of weird. This piece right here that has the double tick mark on it, if you look at the single and the double together, that means that's the same exact side as this one, the single and the double. I'm gonna put three there because it's a single and a double. That goes here, a single and a double, and that goes here, a single and a double. So right now I have SS. So I need to figure out what else is equal. I think when I separated these two triangles, don't they have the same angle right here? Isn't angle A in both triangles, this one and this one? I'm going to swoop it because they were overlapping before I separated them. This is like, you have to have some spatial awareness and some 3D recognition here to be able to understand that this is actually S, A, S. Wow, S, A, S. That was a little difficult and tricky to figure out. But remember how to match up the letters. Angle A, which is right here, goes with angle A. Um, angle B, which is right here, goes with angle D, way over here on this side, that tiny little angle. So I'm going to put A, whoops, that wasn't my pen. A goes first. 
D. And then what does C go with? Oh, they're right next to each other. Angle C goes with angle E. That doesn't look like a D, does it? A, D, C. Remember to match up the letters really carefully. And the reason that was is for SAS. Okay, number 19 is telling me what's missing to make sure that I know I have SSS. Well, I do see they're sharing a side, so I'm going to mark this. I'm going to put two tick marks here because one tick mark is already here and here. And if I want to use SSS, then what is the missing piece of information? I need to mark this side equal to this side. I already knew this one was equal, which is why I marked it, because they're sharing that side. The third piece that I need to write on the line is this side equaling this side. And remember, this is going to be a multiple choice test, but I need MN. That's what connects those three tick marks, M and N. This is a side. Don't give me one letter that would mean an angle. MN goes with Q and P or PQ. Okay, cool. Make sure that if you mark a side, we spend a lot of time making sure we understand the difference between a side and an angle, that you actually label me a side here, not an angle. One more. What is missing to prove ASA? So here's what we need, ASA, angle, side, angle. And it looks like I have an angle already and a side. To have another angle, it needs to be this one. And why does it have to be that one? Because the side has to be in between the two angles, okay? Um, so I'm going to mark angle C and I'm going to mark angle E. And that, since I marked those angles, those are two angles, I'm going to put angle C on the line. Give me the right symbols. This is a DBA over the difference between symbol, symbols between segments and angles. Angle C and angle E. Those are the swoops that I had to add to my picture, okay, to make ASA.